Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. Guys, you get me, bruh. First of all, before you even get into it, remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember to share, comment, and also press the notification bell so you can be the first one whenever Red United TV post up a video to watch as always. And remember, if you can you can always contribute to this channel via PayPal. Or join us live on a Monday and send your super chat. Or when we are doing a live, watching on anything live as well. And if you want to join BetUS, scan the QR code right there. And you'll get something extra if you're new to, to BetUS, one of the leading betting companies. But let's get straight into it because it is Sheriff Neil Manchester United 2. Yes, Sheriff unable to, sh to, to be the Sheriff of the day because Manchester United went to their hometown where there is no sheriff and rolled all over them you get me 2-0 for Manchester United where you thought Manchester United could have killed sheriff or sharif or whatever you call them sheriff unable to do anything unable to cope unable to to cause problems towards Manchester United unable to do jack shit you get me but Manchester United get those three points for the Europa League the first three points of the Europa League or we can start off after losing against Real Sociedad. Yes. But overall, my guys, my my brethren, everyone, let's be honest with you. It was a decent performance for Manchester United in the first half. But the second half, Manchester United looked like they were uninterested in killing the team. And we need to change that because Manchester United need to learn how to kill a team off. And that's what we need. It felt like a training session. It felt like Ten Hag said, you know what, second half, just go and enjoy yourself. Express yourself. That sounds just like Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. And that's what he probably told him. And that's what they did. They went out there to just express themselves, get some minutes in their leg, and probably go on their international breaks because Manchester United won't be playing this weekend. As you know it, guys. But yeah, two goals, I'm happy about that. Three points, I'm happy about that. That's what we need. A goal from Jaden Sancho and Ronaldo. Speaking of the goal, let's go straight into it because Jaden Sancho... First of all, another goal from him. Not getting into the England squad, including Mark Rashford, but Luke on shore and the fridge, Harry Maguire, gets into it. Lack of match practice, lack of match fitness. Whereas these guys have been performing, but Harry Maguire gets in because what? We know what he can do. Um, he's been excellent for England. Uh, yeah, same as Luke Shaw. Yes, I know exactly what he can do. No, you don't. You also said, you gotta play a lot of games to get into my squad. Hypocrites, guys. Hypocrites. But yes, Gareth Solskjaer wants to go to the, to, to, the, to, these, to these games and pick these guys that shouldn't be playing. You want to lose? It's your head. But yeah, Jaden Sancho's goal. Brilliant, brilliant pass from Christian Eriksen. Bloody hell, man. Iron Man is just doing things. Tony Stark, Tony Christian, Tony Eriksen, whatever you want to call him, is doing things with that heart machine right there what well, lovely pass to Jaden sancho and Jaden sancho of course just like to play the one two and then sliding it in and, and of course showing that sh that was um shin pad his shin pads that he dedicated to the boy that he collected from and um, top man for Jaden sancho to do that while he celebrated and he did say he was going to wear them and he did he didn't lie about it and it come the second goal a penalty for Cristiano, Pernardo, Ronaldo, whatever you want to call him, finally getting off the marks for the season. Ronaldo, although he's had a, he had an okay game overall, I'll be honest with you. But yeah, it is what it is. I can't complain, guys. You know, Ronaldo needed the goal, and I was like, Ronaldo needs to take that penalty, and he did. Overall, the team did okay performance-wise. There's nothing more I can say. Player-wise, guys, regarding Jaden Sancho, I thought he was good did well Ronaldo did okay as well Bruno Fernandes was okay today the defense did their job you know to the, even to the extent that Slab and Maguire came on for a couple of minutes how is it possible that you've fallen so down the pecking order you are the captain of Manchester United but you can't get minutes out here we can get minutes for England though well he's gonna be playing for England at the end of the day getting his minutes but yes the captain came on for two minutes <laughs> Luke Shaw also came on as well and played left back while Malasio played right back. Anthony today, to me, I'll be honest with you guys, I felt like Anthony was a disappointment in his performance, you know. 
Ahora es oh, 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 María yo gua 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 la 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 oh, 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 oh María yo gua gua That's why I want I was expecting to see some samba for po from Anthony but unfortunately I'm not seeing the Anthony that I want to see at Ajax obviously it's a different team and he needs to get used to it and he needs to settle and understand the team as well and the team needs to understand him but we shall see you know but I was looking forward to seeing Anthony do some tricks some flips beat players get them one on one but unfortunately that wasn't the case today um as well big up Christian Eriksen does what he always does best you know but it is what it is man man of the match today guys well I'm going to have to give it to Christian Eriksen for that for his performance today donkey of the match gonna go to Maguire for just coming on Maguire and Luke Shaw are virus you know it's gonna keep us behind when he plays whenever he started we've lost all, both of them we've always lost Maguire's lost all those games those three games that we've lost Maguire's been involved but it is what it is we move on to the next game and in the next game is Manchester City the Manchester Derby because Manchester United are not playing this weekend because there's lack of police so it is what it is because when we get straight back into after international duty we're going to see what's going to happen but anyway guys Manchester United fans we take this game in we move on to the next game of course remember on Monday it is the catch up we will go back and discuss the match I mean discuss this match and also so far Ten Hogs reign at Manchester United for the start of the season and what he's done so far so make sure you do tune in at 8 p.m monday uk time for the catch up volume 71 i think and enjoy it as always guys do let me know who your thoughts your thoughts of today's game who was your man of the match who was your donkey of the match you know smash the like button as well and as always as i always say remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united peace out boom <laughs>